Well, I told you so. But I told you so thinking that, you know, I was probably wrong. This is going to be the one instance that my prediction wasn't going to be correct for how this was going to turn out. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, which obviously you won't because I haven't said it yet, I made a video about Sam Pepper a couple weeks ago, and I said something that uh, not a lot of people were addressing, and that is the fact that this whole thing, and by the way, if you don't know the whole ordeal about what Sam Pepper did and all the allegations and everything else that fell on his lap, uh, I'm not going to reiterate the whole fucking story here. There's a search bar up there for a reason. Anyway, I said that, you know, this this whole thing was fucked up and, you know, so many people, even like top people like Shane Dawson and other people with millions of subscribers were calling this guy out on the carpet for what he did and saying what he did was fucked up. All that. And I said, you know what? He's going to let this go on, let all this drama go on for a couple months. This is what I said in that video a couple weeks ago. He's going to let all this drama go on for maybe a couple months, and he's just going to go back to business as usual. It didn't even take a couple months. It took a month. Because two nights ago, this happened. Yep. Uploaded another video, and notice three things about this video. Number one, there's ads on it. So, he's back to making money on YouTube, hand over fist, and living a very wealthy life because of this. And we're all jealous of it. Number two, that was part sarcasm and part truth, by the way. Number two, it's getting a healthy amount of views and support. Overwhelmingly positive, significantly more positive. And number three, it is getting gushing praise and support that he is back. Ladies and gentlemen, it is back to business as usual because people are just fucking stupid. And this is just true to any facet of life when anytime some sort of entertainer or someone that entertains us does something wrong, does something fucked up, does something that so many people see as fucked up, their loyal fans will come running right back. This is true with athletes, with actors, with any, any other form of entertainment. Any other form of popularity, really. I mean, even like a, a well-loved president could fuck up and their supporters will still love them no matter what. They could commit literal murder and their supporters would still love and support them. I mean, for Christ's sake, let me put that screen cap on again. Look at the comment. Look at the comment. I, I, I love and support you. And that it's getting hundreds of people that just happen to see that comment, just thumbs it up to show their love and support. Talking to Sam like he's their child? Like seriously? Support you no matter what? Don't be sad? Get the fuck out of here if you're going to support this fucking asshole. You know what? I'm just done. I'm just flat out fucking done. Don't bother sending me these stories of people fucking up on YouTube. And telling me, you know, oh, give, give your thoughts about this and how fucked up you think it is. Why waste my time when I know what the end of this is going to be? The end of this is going to be the person just sits there for a month at the most, deals with the heat, and then goes back to making their content and it's business as fucking usual. This guy, much like Andy Dufresne, swam through the tunnel of shit and came out clean as a whistle at the end once the rain started falling on him. Like, why am I going to waste my time? Like, we all lost. All the people like me and Shane Dawson, everyone else that called this guy out on the carpet for what he did, we all lost. We all wasted our time. Like, I knew, even going in that video I said a couple weeks ago, you know, it's just going to be a bunch of heat on him for a month or two, and he's just going to go back to making videos, and his audience is going to accept him. That's exactly what fucking happened. Oh, what did he lose? Oh, he lost subscribers, though. Oh, yeah, what, 50,000? 50,000 people and subscribe from his channel. Oh, no. He still has millions of subscribers left. I seriously, what, what, what a waste of fucking time. Even, even trying to expose a guy like this. Yeah, it's a good cause and everything, and the truth deserves to be out there. But you know what? He's just going to come out and do his own thing in the end of things. I'm sure maybe there's a chance that some sort of legalities fall on his lap from what he did. And something gets, uh, you know, a conclusion from that. 
But Jesus Christ, he's back to making videos. YouTube is allowing this guy to still monetize his videos, to still keep his channel after what he did. I mean, what does that tell you? I, and frankly, like, what does that tell any of us to still support YouTube after this? I mean, fuck, fuck speaking out against Sam Pepper. Why are so many of you out there like Shane Dawson, like Lacey Green, all those people out there that made all these videos about him, all these exposing videos that said all these things, that put tweets out about him. Why are you still supporting YouTube? YouTube is the one allowing this guy to stick around, that is allowing him to still make content for his subscribers, his subscribers, his dumb fucks that are going to bow and worship at his feet after what he did. We're all going to sit here and still make content on YouTube. You know what? You either got to say, fuck it, we lost. Or you know what? Fuck it, I'm out of this website. But you know what? You Lacey Green, you Shane Dawson, you everyone else that spoke out against this guy, you're just going to sit here on YouTube and just love this website. You're going to sit there and go, oh, well, they enabled him, but they enabled me so I can make my money and reach my fans. You hypocritical fucks. So, anyways, we knew what the end game was here, and I'm about done calling out these people that fuck up on this website. I don't know. Maybe someone will fuck up so colossally that I'll actually feel like it's worth wasting a few minutes of my time making a video about it. I crazy. These people could commit literal murder. I mean, it goes with any form of entertainment, any actor, actress, athlete. I crazy. If Ray Rice came back right now and he started putting up numbers along with Adrian Peterson, people would be bowing at their feet. Oh, thank you. You run well. You run well for my football team. I love you. I love you. I don't care what you did to your wife or child. I love you. That's the fucked up world we live in. And again, all these people calling out Sam Pepper for what he did. Why don't you call out the enabler as well? YouTube. Or stop supporting this website. Stop making content for this website. Stop helping making this website become more popular. Because it's the popularity of these channels and your channels that help make their decision rather clear. Because YouTube doesn't give a fuck about someone violating anyone's rights or any sort of thing like that or breaking laws. As long as it's not done flat out on their website. Well, I guess actually Sam Pepper actually did with his groping of people. But anyway... Yeah, I notice a lot of people aren't, aren't willing to just jump ship off of YouTube for supporting Sam Pepper. It's like, why not? Why not, you know, diss the enabler rather than the along with the person that's committing these heinous acts? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much about done. I mean, I know never say never. But damn, I have, I have no motivation to fucking call out these people ever again. Again, maybe something will change my mind, but fuck. Well, it's felt, it just felt like such a waste of time. And when I do something on this website that feels like a waste of time, I don't have any sort of motivation to do it again. So anyways, um, yeah, good, good expose videos you made, Lacey Green, but too bad they amounted to fucking nothing. Other than raising awareness of his name... I mean, again, hopefully some sort of legal a allegation, ac blah, something comes from all the accusations and the legal course carries out its just due. But when it doesn't, and he goes on just to doing his own thing, and his fans just keep on supporting him in the hundreds of thousands, go cry a river. Go cry a river and swim your ass out of YouTube on it. Or stay and support YouTube because YouTube enables this guy. Anyway, um, Sam Pepper's back. It's business as usual. Fuck this fucking world and you guys who wonder that I'm just so cynical about this world. <laughs> it's times like this where I go, oh yeah, <laughs> this cynicism can only go up from here. Uh, have a good day, everyone.